What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Subnautica. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and probably run into our Reaper Leviathan friends. So, around the backside of the ship had mostly been a bust. I think that if we were to do this in the most successful way possible, at least the most efficient way possible, let's surface real fast. I think that I am close to, yeah, I almost ran into a thruster right there. You always gotta watch out for running into thrusters. It's a dangerous thing to do in life. If somebody's got their thruster out and they're working it all around you, you probably don't want to run into it. I mean, unless you do want to run into it. It just kind of depends what you're into. Still, I guess there's nothing around the backside aside from a couple of ships there that we were able to manipulate. So, before we run out of electricity, let's see if we can go towards the front because I can think of a few things that are as horrible. What is that over there? What is that? That's weird. It looks like I'm actually able, maybe it's some kind of... I don't know, I'll have to go look at the footage. I don't know if that's only showing up on my monitor, or if it's showing up inside the game. It looks like it's something off in the ocean that's not properly like fading out with distance. Not really positive about it. We might have too far of a journey to go towards the front of this thing. That's the only thing that I've been worried about. So before I started up, I checked all of my vitals, I checked all the fuel and all that kind of like whatnot sort of stuff. You know the things where you're like, I did this and whatnot, you've got like that caveat at the end so that you're like, if I forgot anything, feel free to just fill in the gaps wherever you want. That's exactly what I'm talking about and I'm hoping we have enough electricity to make this happen. I'm going to be scanning the bottom for derelicts right now because I would like to get a couple of extra batteries if we can. However, I don't think that we need to rely on them. I'm pretty sure we can get into this place and get out without getting ourselves into too much trouble. Let me see what I can accomplish here. So going on, there's a little bit of metal right there. Oh, there's another wreck. Does this strike anybody else as odd how quiet it is right now? There we go. Let's fix that. That's what we're good at, fixing silence. That's pretty much like 80% of my job, me just fixing silence. But like, no, nope, there's too much silence here, we need to fix this. I'm gonna get inside of here, because, oh, hey, what's up, peeper? How's it going, pal? I'm also thinking about just like abandoning the base that we built and just putting everything inside the Cyclops, because it has struck me as the case. Oh, look, another signal. Just in case you needed multiples. What do we have in here? We got ourselves a battery. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Got ourselves another battery right there. Two of the component parts we need to make a fuel cell. Oh, a first aid kit. First aid kit is always one of those random items that I have to go craft, so I'm glad that we have a surplus first aid kit. That sound sounds vaguely threatening. It's sounding off in a threatening way. It is a sound, and the way that it sounds makes me worried. Inside the ship! Faster, faster, faster. You ever get the feeling that something, like, when you were a little kid, like, when you would go up the stairs, like, in the dark? You ever had the feeling that something was chasing you when you did that? That's exactly the feeling that I got right there. Like, as I was swimming up towards my ship, I got the feeling that something was coming after me. So what's this glowy business over here? Do I have to go all the way out to the end, or do we go down and underneath this thing on the front end? I don't know what the proper course of action is, so I guess we'll just have to... Oh, we don't. Okay, so... I guess one course of action has been consumed. It's on to the next course then. Let's bump into a lot of stuff along the way because that's always efficient. Oh, please don't beach my ship. I would love if my ship would not get beach slapped right now. Keep on scanning the bottom for crates or anything else that might be useful. Looks like we are hitting shallows though, so it might be- Oh Christ! What in the hell? Alright. That was slightly worrying. Are they pushing? There's three of them? I think we may have made a mistake. We're gonna need a bigger boat. It was weird how they clipped in like that. Like how they just appeared. I don't know, it lacked nuance. I mean, granted, it was pretty freaky. What is going on right now? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I feel like we're being pushed at the moment. And whilst normally, let's take a look here. I can't see things along the side of me because there's no windows. Oh, Jesus. So there's our friend the Reaper Leviathan. He seems pretty fascinated with the fact that we're over here. But we should be safe inside the Cyclops, I think. I don't know. We're bigger than he is. I don't think he'll be able to mess with us. Aside from giving us those little pushes right there. It does say something for his density, though, that he's able to push us like that. Now, the biggest problem we could run into is if we run out of electricity over here. Which I think is something that I'm going to investigate real fast. Yeah, no kidding. Wait, why did our... 
Okay, it appears as though we've actually, all of our research has been, we're still being bumped by the way. You see how we're sliding around on the floor? He's messing with us right now. He's trying to check us. What did we need for a power cell? We needed silicone? Urgh. And I bet we don't have what we need for that, do we? We do have a lot of batteries. So, the next thing that I would suggest... Perhaps that we retreat for a moment. We get more batteries, and then we come back. I mean, the fuel cells go out so quickly on this thing that it's really hard to predict how far you can actually make it before it runs out. So what I'm going to do here is, yeah, I'm going to head back to our base. I'm going to see if I can get some things together to make some more power cells. Then we'll come back over to the front side. I'll probably make two separate sets. It's going to take a while. I wasn't expecting to run out of energy, like 30% in between just moving like 10 feet. I don't know. We need to get some solar panels or something for this thing. Because if we have the technology to build like a deep ocean bottom skimming submersible I think we should probably have like the simple technology it takes to convert solar energy into electricity but still this thing really really lacks in terms of battery power it's like the game gear of submarines so let's go back over here and I'll be back in a minute okay everybody we finally got it solved I think we're looking pretty good right now I've got myself refueled as high as I can it's gonna be like 30 minutes I had to go farm out batteries and stuff like that I don't know it's my first recording session of the day and so I didn't realize what dire straits I left myself in and unfortunately when left in dire straits occasionally you got to do a little bit of like a swirly do curly type thing to get out of it let's go back over here and we'll see what we can accomplish luckily we're not that far out we've got about a set of extra five or six batteries that I think are gonna be pretty useful when we go back in here oh my god it was a farming frenzy seriously farmville people would be salivating at the amount of farming that i just did i never every time like here's a little look into the youtuber's life every time you play like a sandbox game sometimes you've got to actively consider whether or not you've got like the right parts to do the next episode and if not you just go record something else and you'll work on it like in your off time at like 10 o'clock at night however in this case apparently i forgot to leave myself a sticky note saying hey splattercat you need more stuff in order to continue subnautica and so i started my recording and unfortunately left me in a spot where I didn't have the things that I needed. God, I hate these Reaper Leviathans. I really hate them. They did a great job with the character design. Like, the actual creation of that little biological organism. They look freaky. They are nice because they've got the little predator things. That's what it is. They've got those. I don't know what those are called. But they've got head fingers. And head fingers are always worrying. Head fingers don't belong on anything. Now, I don't know where I get into this thing from. And it might also be hampered by the fact that there's like 50 of these things over here. I thought that there was only one Reaper Leviathan. Apparently, they aren't exclusive. That or they've gotten real, real good at breeding. Or... Yeah, there he is right there. I know that he's about the same size as our submarine. What is that down underneath us? Hold on. So that's the ocean floor. See, I don't feel like there's any movement taking place right now. He's circling us. Yeah, he's about the same size as the Cyclops, so we should be alright. So long as we stay the hell inside of this. Yeah, as long as we stay inside the Cyclops. I don't know what he's interested in over there, but you know what? As long as it's not me, that's okay. Just stay over there. That's fine. Stay in your corner. Oh, good. He's pushing on us again. He's grinding up on our Cyclops. He's playing with us amorously, I would think. We might be pushed even further out to sea, but right now he's actually helping out. He's giving us a little bit of thrust. He's like, oh, you have no idea. You have no idea, sir, do you? You have no idea. We're lagging out like hell right now. It's also not letting me turn the ship. So I think he's up behind us somehow. I don't know. The ship appears to be lurched forward. It might be... Hold on, let me take a look here. Is the locker moving? Okay, so it's what's causing us to pitch like this? Our yaw appears to be... Is that the right word? I don't know. Either way, do you see how the ship is inclined right now? I don't feel good about it. Okay, Reaper Leviathan is over there. Realistically, I would prefer to get as close to the Aurora as possible before we disembark. Because losing all of my stuff out here would be the worst day ever. So if we can go around this way... Yay, nay. That'd be pretty cool. What do you say? Okay, so this appears to be working. Yeah, we definitely weren't going to make it around here, especially with some of the added resistance given by the Reaper Leviathans. I don't think we were going to make it around this way. Oh good, it's rumbling again. How pleasant of it. Thank you for that. I appreciate your compliance with our rumbling policy. So it looks like we are officially inside of the Aurora right now. Giggity as you will. 
This is a scary feeling right here. It's a lot larger up close than it looks at the di- The hell are those? What? Are they violent? Do they wish to hurt me? They look like they might enjoy polka music because they go up down like oompa, 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 oompa. All right, well, let's try and disembark, I guess. This whole thing feels like it's about to break. Whoa! What just happened right there? No, no. What in the hell? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. What was that? Oh, that's so weak. I don't know what just happened, but I want no part of it. Oh, this sucks. We just bugged out big time. Okay, so... This leaves me... in a very, very bad place. Although I think if I can weasel my way around, we're gonna be okay. Alright, that was a little bit tense. That got worrying, but it's gonna be alright. Everything's gonna be okay. We made it. The NCS booty butt cheeks was apparently tired of our shenanigans and launched us to spin in the sky. I've had that happen a couple times during my play of this game where it happened one time when I got out of my pod over there too. It also launched the pod, but I'm glad this time it didn't launch our sub. What's in here? Freebie battery? I'll take it. I will 100% take it. So what are you guys? Are you friendly? Are you gonna try and murder me? Hold on. Hey, I had a stasis rifle on me. Where did that go? Oh, man. Did that just respawn? It looks like it just closed itself. No, it didn't respawn. It just closed itself. Okay, that's fine. Feel free to close yourself whenever you desire. Yeah, even this thing over here is quivering. A large organic mass. Well, we'll figure that out later. Apparently, we've got some kind of tumor detector in our hand. And there's one a long, long ways away. Alright, so let's go up into the Aurora. It's kind of burny. It seems like it would be hot here, and it would also have that smell. I had a hard drive meltdown one time. It actually burned my hand. I recall that happening. I was messing with a SATA drive at one point. I was trying to do a data backup. Or... I don't know what just happened. I Either I got dripped on by some random fluid from the Aurora, or one of the little crab guys just bit me. Yes, one of the little crab guys definitely just bit me. It doesn't look like they hurt that much. I don't know if those are like a homage to the head crabs from Half-Life. Stabbing them doesn't appear to work very well, so you know what? Should have brought the stasis rifle. I had it in my inventory, I thought. Oh well. What's this way? Working our way up into the rafters here, trying to figure out what the hell we're going to accomplish. Hey, you back up. That's right, or fall off the roof. That works fine too. Exactly. That's helpful. I appreciate it. Just go ahead and fling yourself off the nearest tall platform. No. I don't like how carnivorous everything in this area is. It's like we transitioned from a relatively peaceful zone where all we had to worry about were stalkers, which, by the way, stalkers are very receptive to bribes. And then we ended up in a place where everything wants to kill us with this reckless disregard for their own financial or people-related security. Oh, I should have brought a fa- oh man, I don't have a flashlight, do I? Okay, so... What are we looking for in here? Hold on, I think we just got... There we go. I don't know if we have to jump over this or what we have to do. But it appears as though once you go in the water, ain't no getting out. There we go. I think you kind of like bug through the floor right there a little bit. What's in here? Well, there's no dead people. That's a plus. I didn't feel like dealing with corpses right now, so... That's pretty major. What is this? Use the ladder. What's down in the water? Looks like things are leaking down there. Is there anything in the water that wants to kill me? If there's no reapers or whatever down in here, I don't care. Everything looks okay. It looks sort of secure. What's down in here? Oh. Apparently there's an access point through the bottom of the ocean right there. 
I guess if you were really, really observant, you could have found that, but you guys know that's not me. That's not how I do my thing. That's not the Splattercat business. Being observant is the last thing that I ever focus on. Perception is not my strong point. I mean, I don't... What the hell was that? It's got to be those things falling from the ceiling, those little grenade-like things. Let me see if I can jump over here. What does this do? No signal, check data cable. Okay. I don't think I would have to go out that way. I wonder. So those holes down there... I wonder if those are interactable. Do I have a welder with me? I have a builder. I don't think that's the same thing. I think I need my welder. Oh shit, that scared me. Oh my god. Okay, that was unpleasant. Go away. Almost damn near gave me a heart attack. So it looks like I might have to make a second run out here in order to fix this thing. Yeah, I think those holes are probably interactable and we better like repair that somehow. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back in business. I brought my aperture science welder. We should be able to do this now, I hope. Is that what I need? Let me weld you. Yes, indeed. How does that look? Yeah, get welded. Oh, there's only 10 leaks. All right, fantastic. I have bad news. Our extraction from this place might be a little bit rougher than originally surmised. The, the, it appears as though the Reapers have figured out where we parked our craft, and they are very, very interested in waiting for us. And so when we go back out there, you'll see it. Should make for a very, very interesting next episode. But for right now, let's focus on the task at hand. Keep this damn thing from melting down or whatever it is it's going to do. I don't know. It's already splitting up, so eh, melting down is probably the next part. If I understand my recycling at all. A little bit. Ah! These damn things up in this pool. Get off me. I don't know how many of them there are either. This could become a war of attrition. Is that one dead right there? I hope it's dead. We've killed a couple now. Alright, another hole welded. If I knew this is how I was going to spend my weekend running my hands over holes in a spaceship. The spaceship's like, I don't know, I found the weekend to be kind of pleasant. Getting my hole rubbed, everything else. I'd be like, yeah, good for you, spaceship. Good for you. And then take this out. I'm like, you have no idea what spaceship body part you're welding right now, do you? I'm like, nope. And I don't want to know. Keep it to yourself, spaceship. Keep it to yourself. Alright, so we got four right there. There's number four. All right. Now that number four has been handled, let's keep an eye out for any other larger leaks or anything going on. We may have to jump around. Oh, there's one over there. Okay, so we got one on that side. Does the welder have infinite energy? It must. It's a little bit weird. Why isn't the energy going down on it? Oh well. All right. Well, that looks like all the sub. Yeah, it looks like all the subaquatic welds have been taken care of. Let's go back up to the surface. We'll jump in here. Any further holes that need to be dealt with? I don't see any. It says there's three left, two left. Whatever it is we're doing right now. Damn it! It's so drippy in here. So where was the platform? There it is. I needed to get around to the other side. That's what I was looking for. So this platform should allow me access. I thought I saw one down below me. Hold on. Yeah, there's two right there. Okay, so they were a little bit lower than I expected. That's why I didn't see them. Always look lower when looking for a hole. Alright, and one leak left. No idea what's going to happen when I do this. I haven't watched any videos or anything, so we're about to find out. Yikes! All radiation leaks fixed. Estimated duration of complete dissipation, two days. So do I get anything out of here? Like, I like how it's gotten calmer, but that being all well and dandy, what do I get for this? Oh, what is this? A power upgrade module? Did it just like eject that? Was that sticking out before? I don't know if that was sticking out before. Oh man, I fell in the water again. 
Water is horrifying. Is it just me or is being in the ocean the worst feeling ever when you know those leviathans are around? I don't like the feeling in the pit. It's a primal feeling. It's that monkey feeling down in the bottom of my stomach where I'm like, ooh, ah, 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 and I get all nervous about it. I'm like, nope, I don't want to be here anymore. About to get a lot of that feeling in just a minute when we go back outside and see how many of those reapers are camped around our submarine. There's a lot. Hint, hint. There's a ton of them. So what does this do? Increases submarine power efficiency just for you, Jack Septic Eye. Oh, okay. So it was a YouTuber-inspired item, it appears to be. Let's take it on back and see if the power of Jack allows us to go forward, or if it does Jack, or whatever. You get what I'm going for right now. You get what I'm going for. I want to know what energy drink Jack Septic Eye has. He has so much energy. I try it sometimes. I try really, really hard to be like upbeat and just like, yeah! And he is just excited about his job day in and day out. It's like whatever YouTuber like tries to be, you know what I mean? Like we're just like, yeah, you try and go at it full board. But sometimes, I don't know, sometimes the day just does not lend itself well to being like upbeat and just like powerful. But then again, it seems like he has a deep reservoir of power. Let's continue off this way. And let's have a look. No, don't get stuck on the incline. I realize that was probably more aerobic exercise than you're used to. He's like, hey, we've been swimming this entire series. We're doing well right now. What are you talking about? All right, let's get past the crab shack over here and let's see how bad the damage is to the Cyclops because I know they were pushing on it a minute ago. Let's take a look here. Oh, I don't want to jump off the edge like this. There we go. So where are they at? It looks like they left. Or, you know, well, yeah, they did. They literally left. They went out that way is where they keep coming in and out from. I'd be careful though because they are like hunting you actively. They're coming after you, so be very, very careful. Just jumping into the water from up here is a bad plan. You want to go from here to the hatch as quickly as possible. But for now, I'm pretty excited about the fact that we got that all taken care of. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Subnautica. I will see you all in future episodes. Hi, do everybody, and I will see you there.